Hi everyone, it's Gail. I am here today with some Christmas organization. That's what we're going to do today because um, I pulled out some of my Christmas stuff and there's just there's just things everywhere. And so I just need to get myself pulled together and remember what I have for one thing. And um, so I can get started on Christmas journals. But first I want to say hi and hugs to Beverly, Carol, Karen, and Anne. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for your nice comments. So the first thing that was on top of my Christmas bag was this little uh, TN journal. And I apparently bought this from Maudina, but I'm, I'm very confused because it isn't bound. And so I have it clipped with my clips, like ready to bind it. So I don't quite know what's going on with this journal. I guess I, I'm going to look and see what pages are in it first, just to make sure. See, I think what I was doing was making myself um, December daily. That's what I think I was doing. But it's like, yeah, these, these are not my papers. So... And it's all Mary Inglebrighty, which is so, so cute. So I am going to, I'm going to bind this and get, get that done. And then, um, let's see. Grab my binding stuff here and let's just get it bound. And um, I'm, so, I'm sort of baffled by it all because yeah I'm sure I was thinking this will be my um this will be my December daily but then I was also wanting to use my pockets my um Christmas pockets made in the the challenge oh it's already got its holes I wonder if the binding broke or something <laughs> I don't know I'm completely baffled but yeah, they're they're good. Um, anywho, what was I saying? Oh, I was going to make an idea journal with my "Don't Freak Out Before Christmas" pockets and stuff, and that was going to be my December daily because I'm pretty sure not a lot's going to go on this December. So I don't know. I don't know. I think I'm going to. Do I have a, like a dark, dark, dark? Yeah, I do. Perfect. Black. That's what I wanted. Yeah, so anyway, I have no idea what's going on with this journal, but I think it might be my December daily because it's a TN size, so it's going to, you know, not having a lot go on, I think it will do just fine. I don't know. Then I was thinking... You know, I had thought about not binding my journal until I had filled it, my um, December daily. But, so maybe that's what I was thinking. I have no idea. No idea. It's been a whole year ago. I can't even remember something after I've slept once <laughs> alone for a whole year. So I don't know what I was doing, but it's a beautiful journal. And um, I can't tell you right now what Madina has an Etsy and I can't tell you what it is um I don't know it's been a while obviously since I since I bought this and shopped her store so you know I don't these days I don't buy too many journals because I have lots of journals <laughs> And oh, there we go. Okay, let's just let's put in here. Good and tight, and. I don't know if these little pieces, I'm thinking these little 
these little pieces were in the journal because they don't look familiar as something that I have, you know. Well, okay. I don't know why I unbound it, but maybe it had, I, I don't know, maybe it had thread that I thought was too bulky or something. I have no idea. No idea. <laughs> so I might as well quit trying to figure it out, right? <laughs> Okay, but it's a super cute little journal. Yeah, I love it. I think it's adorable. Look at that little, little belly bandy thing. And I don't know, maybe these were in here or something. I don't know. I don't know if I just took it all apart. I have no idea. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm going to put these aside. Okay. So I think what I might do is this might be my writing one. And then I'll put my ideas in another one. Because some of the ideas, the, the ideas are made for a 9 by 6 journal. So, well, we did that. Okay. So let's go through... I have an, a great big old TJ Maxx bag that is full of stuff. Um, so this is my, like my ephemera bucket. I mean, seriously, can you see, see that? It's giant. I mean, it's so much stuff, so much stuff. I should make some Christmas kits, I think, or something for my Etsy just to pare down a bit. It's just, but this is what happens at Christmas time when you get Happy Meal. <laughs> so that's, that's why I've asked to have a, a halt to the Happy Meal because I just, I can't use it all, guys. Let's see, these are... These are wrapping paper, and I have, let's see, let's move the binding stuff for now. I have a bag. It's more stuff, really, but at the back of it is wrapping paper, so I'm going to put that there. A lot of Tim Holtz stuff. I think I've had had my um, Timmy shopping, apparently. See, look at all these little Tim Holtz things. Oh, goodness, guys. See, this just overwhelms me. I, I just, it's, it's overwhelming to me. Stickers. Oh, see, that's that's a happy mail. That's some more paper. So I'm gonna put that with the paper. Yeah, just I just absolutely have to. This is um, Timmy Holt's ribbon, and this one down here is Christmas, and that's all that's Christmas. Everything else is other things. Hmm. I might put that with my Tim Holtz stuff instead of the Christmas stuff. Okay, what else is on the sides here? Some words, stickers, stickers. Goodness gracious. Okay, I don't, you know, really even know where to start here die cuts. All of these are die cuts, but I have die cuts. I have die cuts in here. I don't know if this is going to fit. They're awesome, and I so appreciate them. Even at the same time while I get completely overwhelmed. That 
is going. I think that is, I cut that out of a um, Stamperia paper. Okay, I emptied one baggie. Yay. Put that in the die cuts. And you guys, as I'm going through this, I'm sorry, but I won't really know where things came from because a lot of it is happy mail. And I've just been tossing it, tossing it, tossing it into my, um, uh, into my Christmas bag. Let's see. Fabric, trims, trims I have in another place. So we'll put those with that. Those with the fabric, okay. I don't know if this is any fun for you, but I needed to do it. <laughs> Let's see, in this bag I have a big like blue Christmas kit that I bought from Renee at GT Designs. Okay, I'm going to put that. I have another spot where I keep kits like this. So that's going to go there. And that'll maybe. Oh my goodness, guys. Okay. Okay, the bag is empty. And that makes me happy. Okay, so there's these that came in Happy Mail, and they don't fit in a die cut thing like this. This one will. And you guys, these little plastic things, these came from Stampin' Up. They're their they're stamp holders, but you can get them empty if you have a Stampin' Up! representative. Yeah, see, those won't quite fit. So that's always the challenge. Don't know what to do with those. Okay, we have got a pattern that... I am just going to put with patterns. I don't need that in this. Um, yeah. Okay. The things to be filed other places are over there. Here's a little fabric. I have my, my bag of fabrics there. Some jingle bells, which are a bit big for a journal, I feel. So... Okay, I need a pile of I don't know what to do with. A pile of refile, a pile of I don't knows. Okay. Fun bag. Um, got a die cut in it, I can see. Isn't that a fun bag though? How big is that? Yeah, that's, it might fit on a page. Okay, I think I'm also going to make a use in journal. Like use at the from the get-go. That's a fun envelope. Okay, ephemera to use. That's what that's gonna be. Okay, let's put this into the die cuts. Okay, oh cute. These are some cards that somebody made. Those are wonderful. But I'm not sure what to do with them. Would I put them in the journal? I don't know. Maybe, maybe they'll just go with cards. Okay going to refile those with cards. Oh, here's some more of these. Okay. These can go. Okay. 
You know what? I feel like I need another one of these. Talk amongst yourselves. I'm gonna grab it. Okay. So those can go sideways, can they? Just barely. Okay, then I can get rid of this file folder. <laughs> I have a note on this. Use first, 2019. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is... Oh, these are from... Um, Jen at Dreams Etc. Okay, so what my thought was was for my December dailies. Yep, okay. So that's going to go with my December daily. It's going to go right like this. Okay, that's going to be all December dailies. Okay. Napkins and little coastery things. Oops, excuse me. And then this is all Christmas cheer stuff from um, Blue Fern Studios. That was their Christmas last year. So there's chipboard and stuff in there. Okay, well, that's all fine just being in there. I just want to keep it together. Okay. Okay, but at least I know what's in there. I think I'm going to put these doilies in here with this just to keep them from getting icky. Maybe I'll put these in front so I know that they're there. Then I'll put the doilies in the back of this. Okay. And this. Now I can put those back in the bag. I'm standing them up. And my Christmas stuff, it, um, it really just lives under my table all year long in these bags. So... Let's see, that is a card. Uh, goodness. So I'm gonna just get that rid of that. What's this? Cards. Cards, 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 cards. They're very cool Christmas cards. I feel like some of these could go with the journals that I have going this year. I really do. I feel like some of them could. So I'm going to put that there. This was a calendar, apparently. Um... I'm looking at that thinking cover. Could we cut that and make that into it's a little big, but it's a cool image. I was thinking of cutting this one out. Hmm. I don't know what to do with those, so I'm going to put them in the I don't know pile. So far, I only have two things in the I don't know pile, so that's not too bad. <laughs> If the I don't know pile grows to be as big as anything else, hope you can use these. Oh, little stickers. Oh, yeah, and then all of my stamps. And there's stamps in here, too. Stamps and stickers. So maybe I need a different thing 
for stamps. Christmas stamps. Okay, so these are stickers. And stamps. I'm just going to put the stamps all in this envelope. Okay. These stickers are too big for the stickers area. Hmm. Okay, but I'll put them with. Okay, this is just, this is a Christmas card, so that goes with the cards. All right. This is a little snowflake charm, and there's just one in there, so. Um. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I have this box is divided by tags and pockets, ephemera, that kind of stuff. So, tags and pockets. What do we have in there? Oh my goodness. This is the thing, you guys. I can't even pull anything out of here. It's so jam-packed. This is a leftover golden book. We already used pages of that. Um, I don't feel like it needs to be in the bucket is the thing. Okay. Somewhere here, I have a divider for cards. And these cards need to go somewhere else. Stickers, bingo. This is adorable. Look at how cute that is. That is super cute. That needs to go in my idea journal, so I'm gonna put that over there. Um, just gonna say this is vintage postcards. Are you guys feeling overwhelmed yet? Because I am. But but this year is going to be better because all these wonders are going to go to schools or nursing homes or places that can um, places that can use them instead of to Gail. Okay, that has helped out a lot. I think this is all cards right here. I'm not sure. That's just like a flash card thing. Okay. Cards, cards, cards. Oh, bunnies cute. Yeah, see, bunnies, bunnies, bunnies. Bunnies and Christmas, that's what's happening here. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? Got strings in here. Goodness sakes. Yeah, this is all just blank Christmas cards and stuff that people have sent me. So, that's going in a card pile. What's that? This one is vintage. That's going to go with the vintage ones. Okay. So those can go out of... Gosh, I'm falling off my chair, guys. Um, Where did I see the vintage... Oh, right here. Vintage cards. Postcards and stuff. go with the cards. This can go with the cards too. Oh yeah, I got a big box of vintage cards at, um, at the antique store. These are like reproductions. Yeah, 
a lot of that I got at a lot of these I got at um, the antique store slash uh, garage and estate sales okay and this is fine as is but I'm not gonna put it back in the box because I can't thumb through the box to even see what is what because there's just too much stuff okay so I'm just gonna put that in the bag by itself okay these are cards and a little little Christmassy bling okay so now I can thumb through here that's gonna be better so these are playing cards just little old playing cards to stick in the stick in pockets or whatever looks like I have more of those kind of things playing cards playing cards um I am going to put these that were in the December daily I'm gonna put those with too okay so now what else more looks like I tried to put them in a envelope as much as that worked <laughs> but I think that will work okay washi tape this was a little pocket that someone made me, but it's like six and a half. So you'd have to go sideways, which makes this little dude go sideways, which is kind of weird. But I liked how she layered that up. So that was kind of an idea type of thing. Maybe I'll put that with the ideas for the idea journal. Okay, so we now have playing cards. I have these Tim Holtz little ones too, which are great. So we now have playing cards down to this envelope and these two tins. So I am going to go ahead and put those back in and they'll be just a lot neater than they were. There we go. Okay, so now um, I don't know what to do with wash tape. I think this is a Happy Mail something that's just a bunch of different things. There are charms in there, so we'll put these charms in there. Miscellaneous bag is what that is. Okay, so tags. Tags and pockets is in here. Oh my goodness. Okay, so... Let's see what's here. Yep, there's some vellum pockets. See that little coffee dye tag doesn't need to be in there. I just put it down in my coffee dyed stuff. Okay, that's a cute little pocket. I could maybe use that in my journals that I'm doing. Um, and these sacks. And those could be put on a page, but I'm just going to put those back in because these are cute. I think I must have gotten, bought those at, on Etsy. I must have. Those are cute. I'll use those this year. These are like from TJ Maxx, I think. This is, you know, remember those ugly tags I had? This was a Christmas ugly tag. <laughs> needs to be reworked. This is a cute little pocket. That's really cute. Could be. This is cute, naughty and nice, it says, and it's um so maybe the Santa journal. Sacks. Gonna go with the sacks there. What are these? These are Looks like they're vellum, vellum things. I don't know. 
I don't know what those are. Well, I appreciate you guys going through everything. This is a uh, a dyed tea bag. Uh, I don't know. Lots of random stuff. These are bits and bobs. Ephemera pieces. Tag. cute pocket somebody made a little stocking in it it's really cute I'm gonna put that in the use this year that in the use this year some envelopes these were some um, woven pieces of paper that I made into tags these are from TJ Maxx <clears throat> not I mean, they're, they're there if we need them, right? These are scraps. Throw that in my scrap pile. Tags. Oh, that's a super cute pocket. I love that. Okay, I'm gonna use that. Okay. All right, that's so much for the tags and pockets okay then I have after that I have journal cards but those are not journal cards and neither are those so apparently there's a few other things in here too let me see how we're doing on time I should check that oh good it's not too much not too much okay some more trim all right, so this is ephemera, basically. These are tags. These can go in the tags. Let's see, tags, tags, tags right here. How's that getting there? Okay, those are tucked away. Ephemera, I think I might need a new... Oh, I do have an ephemera. That's that's what this is. Is Here's more. These sticky bottoms stick to everything, and that is annoying. Okay. Ephemera, ephemera, ephemera. Okay. Good. Four packages of that. And what is this? Journal, journal cards and cards. Yeah. Okay, so this is stuff left over from a Stamperia journal I made. These are the Stamperia Winter Botanicals. It's so, it's so gorgeous. Okay, so that, at least I know that what that is. This is Timmy Ephemera. So that needs to be in the Ephemera section stickers let's see where did I have stickers over here didn't I and what are what is all of this envelopes oh this is leftover ephemera from um, my dreams etc Christmas book from last year so that's actually ephemera and these are journaling cards. Okay, and then we grab another big section. This is some Timmy stickers, Christmas stickers. Okay, I think I need a section for stickers, don't you? Because i getting quite a stack of those. Journal cards, journal cards, journal cards and random other things. <laughs> oh, there's a little notepad. We'll use that. This has staples in it. Look 
how cute that is. Christmas carols, journaling cards. Making a little booklet. What was I doing there? Was I doing that or was somebody else doing that? I have no idea. That's a to be finished, I think. <laughs> There's a index card that I maybe could use. Is that a sack? That's a sack. Scrap. Doilies. I'll put those in with the doilies. And these are the scrap. And this is stickers. Okay, gonna have a new category called stickers. I'm gonna put this with the other tea bag. Okay, then these are gonna go back into the journal cards. And pull out the next section. Okay, we've got some playing cards in here I'm seeing. So those are going to go back over here. And then this is a ephemera cut out from, I don't know, Artie Mays or, or uh, Tsunami Rose. These are from a Graphic 45 kit. Tally cards. Good to know. That's Okay, I can live with those being in the journaling cards. Okay, let's see what we have here and here. Okay, this is ephemera. Going in this is the old ephemera area. Okay, these are coffee dyed pieces of, pa of notebook paper. Oh, here's another. Sack. Maybe could use that. This is snippety things. I made that one. And I got these in Happy Mail, I think. I'm not going to be using blue, but perhaps we could use these two on something. Then I have, oh, that's a very tall ephemera. Is that why I had it at the back? Probably. And then borders. I have a lot of borders. Borders, borders, borders. Okay, so that's at the very back. And that was a random buy, but okay. <laughs> this is a snippet thing that I made. So we might be could use that. Um, Dee Dee Fair, Fairgo, um, she did a snippet thing on um, the Don't Freak Out Before Christmas. And I, I that's where I kind of lost it because, um, or, or got behind or whatever, is because I, I didn't do that. And, um, because I knew I had a couple and stuff. And anyways, I haven't gotten back to it, all that to say. I haven't gotten back to the to the challenge. Let's see. A bit random. Is this die cut? Yep. Well snowflake die cuts. I'm going to put those over here. I think we got through this, you guys. I feel so good about that. It just, I just needed to remember what we have. I'm going to put this in sacks to be decorated. Oh, so that's going down there. Let's see. These are going with the other 
the other doilies. This is ephemera. Let's see. So I think all these can kind of go toward the back in the miscellaneous area. Oh my gosh, this is so much better. So much better. Okay, and then I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to make myself a new little divider that says, what did I say? Stickers. Okay, so that goes right there. And then stickers. Okay, so then these can go back in here too. I think I'm going to put the stickers in front of the tags. So it's still full, but it's better than it was. I have a couple of things here. I don't know what to do with, but I'm going to just gonna stick them down the side. Okay, so I don't know if it looks any better to you, but I can move it, and so that makes me happy. Okay, so I'm going to put that back in the bag. And I can put set these kind of down the side, the um, die cuts. I haven't decided what to, I put that in the undecided. Okay. Oh, these that came out of that little book, I'm going to stick in the journal card area. I was backwards. I'm backwards now in there. Okay, let's look at this bag of stuff and see what we have here just to refresh my memory. So I know there is the wrapping paper. I know there is music paper. And there's this Tim Holtz tissue paper. See, like all this stuff is just loose and that's not good. almost wondering if I just threw things in here after I got done last year. Probably. Okay, so I have little tags there. These are sweet little journaling cards or something. They're just um, put on book page. Those are really cute though. I think I'll use those this year, so I'm gonna put those in my this year pile. Not that I won't grab in here and get other stuff along the way too, but and Timmy Ephemera, Seven Gypsies, Vintage Market. Oh, I got this at an antique store and thought what I was thinking was of cutting these up and making journaling cards out of them but obviously haven't gotten to that yet <laughs> let's see what all is this stuff okay so so really I think this is ephemera that wouldn't fit in the in the box that I have going so I don't 
No. I think I'm just going to put it back in here because I don't know what else to do with it. Um, that needs something. Okay, what's this stuff? Backs of postcards, postcards. I'm going to actually throw that away because the head need, heads needed planning. It's just a bunch of ephemera and cards and stuff. Envelopes. Ooh, look. That's fun. Stencils. Glad I found that. Okay, where's that? I am going to use this cleaned it out now I'm going to use it so all this stuff I'm going to just call ephemera and put it in the ephemera area of my box okay so actually this is a tag. These are journaling cards. This is a tag. So actually, I'm feeling pretty good about this bag. I think we'll um, let's see stickers, tags. I think we'll go ahead and um, journal cards. Go ahead and pull out the second sack if we have time. This is ephemera. It's right here. Let's see, can I get you over to the side? Okay. All right. So, I'm going to consider that gone through. I'm going to put this back in this bag. And so this stuff is going to go in the back here. Okay, this, that is actually a manageable bag now, <laughs> which is awesome. This is pretty little fabric. Use that for something. Um, now, let's see. How are we doing time-wise? We're, we're getting there. Okay. Bag number two. I just climbed under my table. <laughs> Got bag number two. Oh, so much stuff. Okay, so this is trims and stuff that are more Christmassy. Okay, that's fine. I'm just gonna shove those in there. Oh, that's trims. Um, oh, Lord. Washi tapes. Journaling cards, all sorts of tags. Randomness, that's what's here. Okay. So that's a random bag. We know that. All right. What's this? Oh, I've got a couple of things of burlap. Oh, these are, um, whatchamacallit, coasters, I think, from that are Christmassy. More cards. Oh dear. More cards and more cards. Those are very cool though. Okay. Pad. 
Didn't even know I had that. Okay, well, that was one I didn't remember. A little bit of tissue paper there. Okay, I feel like a lot A lot of this bag is uh, is leftover um, graphic 45 stuff and that kind of stuff. And then it's the trim. But I am glad to have found the washi tape, though, because I did not know where that was. <laughs> so I think Brad's. Okay, so I think that bag is fine as is because it's just, it's not stuff that I'm going to use probably this year. And then like I say, I may have to just make up some kits of Christmas stuff or something. Okay, so now I, but I'm all kind of set because I received my little side table in the mail and I want to be able to have that up and have Christmas stuff on it. Okay, the one thing I didn't find somewhere to put is these. So maybe I'll slip them in. I've got some like, I don't know, wrapping paper and sacks and stuff in here. So I'm going to slip that in there. Probably want to keep these out, Christmas stencils. Okay, guys, um, I was going to show you my fabrics, my Christmas fabrics, before we get done here. So I used an old sheet an old sheet package you know that zips so I've used that for my fabrics and um, so it's it's worked pretty well I can just you know when I was working on fabric flips I I made a mess of it it was and I had to reorganize it but it's just sort of I lay it down like this and then I stack from this side and then I've got a, what do you call those? Jelly roll, a quilter's thing of Christmas fabric there. And then all my little, my little bitties on the side. And, and then it's all in one place and lives under my table all year, except for at Christmas time too. So I don't know if this was at all helpful as far as how I kind of get it organized. So basically I have um, the I have two a TJ Maxx bag and then a smaller bag, and then I have my fabrics, and then I have a little carton here. I'll show you if I can grab it. A little this little this little thing. It's, here, let me back you out. This little thing. It's um like it's got dividers, and I have scrapbooking paper in there. So I need to clean this up a bit because I have a stack of papers that I was using for the uh, Don't Freak Out Before Christmas challenge. So I think I'm probably done with that challenge. I did all the pockets and stuff and um, I have some of them out that I'm going to put in my idea journal. We did that the other day. And then, um, so it's just going to be decorating those and stuff and everybody's going to have different decorations. So I kind of think I'm done with that little challenge, but, um, I appreciate it, Dee Dee. It was, it was awesome and got a lot of stuff made over the last few months. So that was, that was good. But, um, now she's, I think, going to be to binding journals, covers, doing covers, all that stuff, which I've kind of already got the covers and just have some work to do on um, getting them sewn in. That's it. 
So anyway, thanks so much, everybody, for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me and just chatting a bit, w working me through my, my big old Christmas area. So we will just see you in the next video. Have a grateful day, everyone. Bye-bye.